I would like to discuss uh, the major differences between the uh, non-REM and REM sleeps, uh, major differences or similarities. So, in fact, as we know, the sleep, any sleep, typical normal sleep starts with the theta wave of the stage 1 of uh, non-REM and uh, of having the 4 to 8 hertz of the EEG frequency and uh, at times that uh, theta waves may mix with the alpha waves uh, because the stage 1 is a very light uh, sleep uh, stage and the threshold for the sensory sensory threshold to arousal is very very low in this stage because this stage is more or less nearer to the wake awakefulness and uh, further the stages of the non rem of uh, 2 3 4 follows and the maximum sleep cycle is occupied with the non rem around uh, 70 minutes around approximately 70 minutes and uh, Whereas uh, rapid eye movement, REM sleep starts with the sawtooth EEG waves of 3 to 7 hertz and uh, resembles that more or less similar to the awakened state and uh, the sleep, sleep stage also known as a paradoxical sleep stage because of uh, the EEG behavior as well as the eye movement is very rapid. Uh, in this stage appears that as if the person is awakened state in fact uh, the threshold for the arousal the sensory threshold for the arousal is very high in this state uh, the person the EEG waves as well as IE eye movement appears that as if the person is awakened or more or less uh, very light uh, stage of uh, sleep but in fact the person actually in very deep stage of sleep so that's why we named as a paradoxical sleep then uh, the REM sleep al always uh, followed by the non-REM stage non-REM initial stage and then REM so go on the cycle go on of 90 minutes of duration on and average like uh, four to six cycles in a night typical night in the normal state in normal physiological situation so there are no further stages only one stage the REM, REM sleep and uh, occupies minimum time of the sleep cycle approximately 10 minutes on and average 7 minutes and this centers for the non-REM mainly non-REM sleep uh, influenced by the basal forebrain pre-optic area of the hypothalamus and whereas uh, the REM sleep uh, influenced mainly by the raphe nuclei of the reticular activating system from where pontogenic low occipital spikes uh, uh, you know influences also to be noted in the REM sleep through acetylcholine noradrenal neurotransmitters in fact both centers are active in the both cases whereas these centers are very active in the non-REM and these centers are very active in the REM stage. I already discussed in my previous video about the sleeps and cycles and the physiological behavior of the sleep patterns. You may kindly refer my previous video. And the dreams also occurs in the non-REM apart from the uh, REM sleep. Initially the scientists thought that the dreams uh, can occur only in the REM sleep and the recent uh, research suggesting that the dreams do occur in the both cases and the memory consolidation of the any skilled memory mainly motor skilled memory and other memory starts from the stage 2 of the non-REM the memory consolidation is uh, very obvious in the REM sleep and heart rate decreases sympathetic activity decreases the respiration decreases in the mainly stage uh, 3 and 4 in the non-REM whereas sexual arousal do present in the non-REM stage of the sleep and here the heart rate increases and sympathetic activity increases respiratory respiration is increased and the muscle tone obviously decreases in a specific group of muscle and uh, REM sleep occurs towards the morning stage so the morning time so in normal in physiological 
situation the morning sleep mostly occupied by the rem where we you know having the dreams and uh, at times the dreams can be recalled even at the awakened state and sexual arousal do present in the uh, rem stage so the sexual arousal is uh, little higher than the non rem stage these are the main differences between the uh, non rem and uh, rem sleeps stages of the sleep cycle